guys, in today's video I'm going to be doing my July favorites. Like we say in every video, I can't believe that July is over. We're in August, my birthday is next month in September. And yeah, I'm going to be 21, I'm so excited. But anyway, let me get into my favorite products of the month. It has been extremely hot in Miami or just in Florida, period, this summer. So I've been mostly just caring about my face, keeping it matte because I do have um, combination skin, very oily T-zone. So I've just been worried about keeping my face matte. I haven't really been doing too much with the eyes. So I'm going to show you guys what my favorite products have been this month. Uh, my first favorite product has been the Givenchy Mr. Matte. Um, it's a mattifying foundation primer and I think I've talked about this before if not I showed it to you guys in a haul they sell it at Sephora uh, I'll put all the prices down below it is basically a gel consistency I'm like running low I'll show you guys what it looks like it's like this gel type consistency like most primers are and then you just blend it in it makes the skin super soft like honestly baby butt soft it's so soft and completely matte I've been loving it this month and it will probably be one of my holy grail items no lie my second favorite product of the month is from the drugstore and it's the Maybelline dream matte mousse foundation that's what that looks like I have it in sandy beige medium one and I bought this at Target one day just out of the like totally random and I've had it for a while, but this month I've been loving just a light. This can be a full coverage foundation, but I've just been doing a light, like, sheer coverage of it all over my face. And I have been loving it. So I usually use my tinted moisturizer, but this month I've been using this because I had a bit of breakouts. So I wanted a little bit more coverage than usual. And I loved this because it kept me matte and it did not move throughout these hot, hot summer days. Third favorite product is a concealer and it's the Makeup Forever, what is this called? Lift Concealer. This is what the packaging looks like and this is it in the back. I have it in two. I'm pretty sure there's five shades in this concealer and it's just, it's, a, it's like supposed to be an illuminating concealer which I definitely think it is. It's a very light, um, a very light consistency you get tons of product in this packaging this is gonna last me a while I already know this is the shade that I have it in and I really think this peachy type of shades really brightens underneath my eyes but it does have that beige um, like a beige tone to it so it also covers um, and matches the rest of my skin it's a really nice consistency it's not a full coverage concealer in my opinion to me it's I mean you could build it because that's pretty full coverage but I only take like two dots underneath my eyes and it really just helps to lift like the concealer says lift and brighten underneath my eyes while still covering a little bit of darkness that I have in there my fourth favorite is an oldie but goodie and it is the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Sin I have it in the old packaging because this was a backup that I had in my collection but now it comes in the squeeze tube this is the old packaging but I have it with the angled doe fit and it is basically just a champagne colored primer and that's the shade right under there and when you blend it it's not as dark it just has a really pretty sheen and this is always a summer favorite of mine it was a summer favorite last year I love to just use this all over the lid and not with no eyeshadows on top because sometimes in the summer I don't like the thought of having so much makeup on like right now I'm going to work at Sephora so I have a little bit more you know than I usually would but I love this during the summer it's an awesome product it helps of course your eyeshadows stay on all day no creasing they look brighter it's one of my favorite primers whenever people at work are like oh which one of the primers should I get I always recommend the regular primer potion if you're not into shimmery colors but if they're you know a little bit younger and they like the shimmer I always recommend sin because it is so beautiful I love it and my last favorite of the month is a liquid liner and it's the Stila all stay all day waterproof liquid liner and this is in black that's what it looks like it's just a felt tip liner my sister I got her in love with this while she was here and while I was in New Jersey it's just a felt tip liner and it applies such a nice line and it's very very black 
this liner does what it says it stays all day I get home and I have to like kind of work at it with my makeup remover wipe to really get it off it is a great product it's um 2018 it's kind of pricey but if you have problems with liquid liner staying on I would definitely recommend giving this product a try I found out of this found out about this product through Jazzy Baby Cakes here on YouTube and I definitely am glad that I tried it out because especially for the summer and here in Florida where you're sweating a lot you want to have makeup that's going to stay on all day and this is definitely one of those products. So this month I don't have any favorite YouTubers except for the people that I usually talk about. I still watch their channels. I also wanted to let you guys know it was so fun doing the va doing Vag last month, Vlog All Days in July. I know a lot of you enjoyed it. And if you're into those types of videos, like vlogs or like just day in the life, I have a second channel that's called Nars Gone Wild. I always have the links to all my channels down below. And that channel, it's not really a day in the life because I don't post videos there every day. But it is more of like me outside of the beauty community, you know, just crazy stuff that happens to me outside. And I am going to start posting more videos onto that channel. And lastly, I wanted to let you guys know that I have gone back into my weight loss um, journey. I kind of took a break. It's not, I don't know, I went on vacation and then I came back and it's just been crazy. But since Monday, I've been going at it full throttle. It's now Friday and I am going to be posting off grocery shopping haul and a Weight Watchers update on that channel probably tomorrow so that link will also be down below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to see any like in-depth reviews on any of the stuff I mentioned in this video let me know and also leave me a video response or comments with your July favorites. I'd love to know what you guys have been liking. So until my next video I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye guys!